Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a review on the new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is a full coverage, matte finish, long lasting foundation that Charlotte Tilbury released on Thursday. This foundation has 44 shades, which is amazing. Um, that's one of the largest shade range that Charlotte Tilbury has ever released. I think it's great that she is expanding her shade range. So many different undertones, which makes it very, very inclusive. If you read out some of the ingredients to you, I, I mean, we got so much information on it when we went to training, but bear with me. I'm probably going to be reading out of the notebook where I took notes because there's some sciencey words in here that I just can't really remember off, off the top of my head. As always with any Charlotte Tilbury product, you get some sort of treatment and transformation benefit through it, which is amazing. So some of the cool ingredients from this foundation are the Magic Reflexium Serum. This is an anti-aging ingredient that reduces wrinkles. It's youth boosting and collagen building. Another ingredient is the Microalgae, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Defense. It is a pollution defendant, so it's going to protect your skin. And it has air cool technology, which is anti-humidity, which means that the foundation has a very cooling um, feeling when you apply it. And it has a moss cell technology. I don't know, super fancy, but pretty much it's hydrating. <laughs> Those are like the four main ingredients. I don't want to bore you guys too much with the ingredients, but it's great to know that this foundation also has skincare in it, so it is actually benefiting your skin as well as giving you coverage. So here are some of the claims. So it is a 16 hour wear foundation. It is transfer proof. It has a flawless matte finish, a lightweight texture, a velvet and skin like finish. It is vegan and paraben free and it is an easy smooth gliding application when you're applying it and it is also oil free um, so it's a water based foundation. It retails for 44 US dollars which I think is a great price point um, for being a luxury and high end brand. But yeah overall this is the packaging. The packaging is beautiful and flawless. As always, Charlotte Tilbury always comes with the best packaging, in my opinion. I just love her packaging overall. Rose gold, beautiful, very luxe, very just beautiful. So I have the shade 7 Neutral. Um, I love this foundation. I'm not just saying that because I work for the brand. But if you want to see how I applied it and more thoughts about it, um, then go ahead and just keep watching. So. Starting off with a fresh face, I'm going to be going in with a moisturizer. I'm going to be using the Magic Cream, of course. This is what Charlotte recommends using as your primer for this foundation. The foundation and the Magic Cream go hand in hand together. It's very important to apply a generous amount of moisturizer when using this foundation. That's what they told us in training. But I have been playing around with it a little bit. Every time I've used it, I've applied a generous amount of magic cream and it's worked great. I'm very curious to see how the foundation looks with a primer beneath and I'm really tempted to try it right now in this video. So I think I'm just gonna test it out with a little bit of Wonder Glow just because I'm super curious. That's probably gonna take away like the matte finish but it's okay, you know? Now for foundation. I am taking the new Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I am in the shade 7 Neutral. It was kind of a battle finding my shade, I will say. I was testing out a lot of different colors and yeah, it was a struggle for sure trying to find my shade. It was mostly me just being pretty anal about it, but I'm really happy with this shade and I think this is actually my perfect match. But here is the packaging, a beautiful packaging as always. Charlotte Tilbury never fails to bring beautiful luxe packaging. I love it, it's so, so beautiful. I don't even wanna to touch it. So this is my first time actually opening this one. I've been using sample cups. I've been using sample cups throughout the week just to I don't know, I wanted to save it for the video to look like super cute. A little goes a long way with this foundation. I would say you don't need like more than a pump, half a pump at that. 
that much sorry if this is like dirty but um yeah i'm literally taking that much and i like to dot it on my face like that my favorite way to blend it out is actually with a brush you can use any like dense foundation brush of your choice whatever is your favorite i'm using the real techniques instant pop face brush it's like a nice size so it makes blending it out a lot quicker but you can see how much coverage that gives with just a pump is really enough for my face so since it is a matte finish it does tend to darken. You really have to give it about five minutes to really set in and show its true color. So it has great coverage, but it still looks like my skin, which I love in a foundation. I'm not a huge fan of like super heavy looking foundation. I like more of a natural skin type of look. So this foundation, is perfect for that we'll see how it wears throughout the day um, but yeah overall i think it looks amazing it's more of like a natural matte you can still see some sort of glow on my cheek peeking through because of the magic cream go in with some concealer so for my concealer i'm going to be using the maybelline instant age rewind concealer i love this so i go in with two shades i'm going in with golden um just to kind of really conceal and then I'm going in with sand over it to brighten. And then for setting powder, I'm going to be using the Genius Magic Powder in Fair Medium just to really set my under eye area and maybe a little bit like on my brows and um, smile lines just because I tend to crease just really really lightly my usual bronzer which is the bronze and glow i'm hitting pan and i'm really really sad yeah i'm just placing my bronzer where i usually would and everything blends out really nicely really smoothly very flawlessly i do the rest of my makeup and hair and just get myself together and i'll show you guys how it looks when it's all finished so Okay, and we are back. So, I went ahead and just finished the rest of my makeup. I'm wearing Golden Goddess on my eyes, surprise, surprise, with Love Trap Lip Liner, Hepburn Honey Lipstick, and Ibiza Nights Gloss. For blush, I did um, Climax All by Charlotte Tilbury. This foundation for all applies beautifully, mixes really well, or it blends really well bronzer blush highlight anything you put on top of it it blends super seamlessly and smoothly as so it claims um i'm gonna add more bronzer the shade i got is a brighter shade than i would normally get for reference i do use the eight in her magic foundation and light wonder and i'm between like the seven and the eight i would say i could do seven if i want to be a little bit more bright but i usually go for eight because i like looking golden and tan but i'm getting to that point of realization that you know i'm i might be a seven so <laughs> the body my body i'd say is kind of like an eight it's weird because i've always thought i've had like a golden undertone but i'm more olive i guess um it's actually been said that 80 percent of women wear the wrong foundation shade and i think i fell in that category and it was a lot to accept in the beginning but i think that i'm happy with where i'm at right now <laughs> with my foundation shade so i am a seven neutral 
I am a golden, no, I am a seven neutral, which is a golden beige for medium skin with neutral undertones. Oh, so I am golden. I just love the word golden, so anything that says golden, I usually gear towards. Overall, I think this is a great match. I do think it's probably better to go a little bit brighter than the fact that the foundation does darken once it dries as does every full coverage foundation and then you can tweak it to your liking by just adding more bronzer, blush, and things like that. So overall, I'm super, super happy with my match and I think it's great that she has 44 shades to choose from. It is a little overwhelming for me personally just because I do a lot of shade matching at work. So it's um, quite a battle for me. Overall, I think the foundation is great. I definitely, for sure, recommend trying it out. I love it. I've been wearing it for about a week and I've, you know, kind of been playing with it um, as far as like primers and what I'm wearing it with and I know like the mix that I like with it now. I love Magic Cream and I love how it looks with Wonder Glow, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day. I'm gonna try to do a wear test. I do have an event to go to at the day, so I wanna do a wear test. If you have the chance to try out this foundation, pick up a sample, I for sure would. I think it is suitable for many skin types, whether you're dry, oily, combination, especially if you're probably more on the oily side, just use less moisturizer. If you're more dry, of course, um, go in with a little bit of more magic cream or moisturizer of your preference. But yeah, overall, I think it is such a beautiful finish. And here's kind of like a close up of what my makeup looks. But yeah, um, I'll probably try to do a little take in natural lighting as well. But anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys when I check in, okay? Okay, so here is a quick check-in. I put the foundation on around 12.30. No, actually. I put it on around 1, and I haven't done anything yet, but um, this is kind of me in, like, daylight. I'm about to head out to my friend's event. Yeah, it's still, I mean, it's... I haven't really done much but change um, and just chill for a little bit. It's 3.30 right now, so it's like a two hour check-in, but I just wanted to show you what it looked like in daylight. Yeah, it looks very smooth, poreless, and all those things. Um, but yeah, I'll do a check-in later on throughout the day. It is 9 p.m. at night, so it has officially been at least eight hours throughout the day. I just got home and here is how my foundation is looking throughout the night. I think it stayed on pretty darn well, if you ask me. You can see maybe my oils are like peeking through around here in my T-zone, which is normal. That happens pretty much with every, with every foundation. I personally don't mind that because I don't like being super matte, but I don't if I look at myself right now, I'm not looking at, like, I'm not thinking like, ooh, she's super oily, like, she needs to touch up. I'm not the type of person to touch up throughout the day. Just, I'm pretty dang dry, so I don't find the need to touch up throughout the day. If anything, I like how my makeup looks throughout a few hours once it sets in, because that's when my natural oils and the natural glow starts to peek through. If you ask me right now, I'm happy with how this foundation is looking. Here is kind of like a close-up of what it's looking like. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and liked the little check-ins throughout the day. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you do get a chance to try out this foundation, I would for sure recommend it. It's for sure gonna be one of my go-tos. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.